What's up guys, got another video for you here today. Today we're gonna to be talking about my predictions for Investor Day on March 1st. I think it's gonna be a really exciting day for Tesla. Um, as we see on the website here, they're gonna discuss long-term expansion plans, generation three platform, and capital allocation. So I think they might announce another factory. I think they're gonna announce maybe one vehicle or maybe even two, but we'll look at a few clips from Tesla throughout the years of them hinting at what could be announced in this investor day on March 1st. So you can guess what, our, what we're working on, which is the next generation vehicle, which will be probably about half the cost of the three, the three wide platform. It'll be smaller to be fair, um, but uh, it, it, it will, I think, swiftly become, uh, swiftly exceed the production of all our other vehicles. Combined. Okay, so as you see in that clip, they've been talking about robo taxi or maybe not a robo taxi, but a twenty five thousand dollar car. Something that they said would be half the cost of a Model Three and Y. And in their expansion plans in Nevada, they talked about a hundred gigawatt hour battery uh, production. So a hundred gigawatt battery production. If you divide that by a fifty kilowatt hour battery pack. A 75 kilowatt hour battery pack goes into the long range model three. So they said it's gonna be a smaller vehicle. So a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack to me seems fair. If it's a smaller car, it still could get close to that 300 mile range, which I think is completely optimal. And if you divide that 100 gigawatt hour production per year into a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, that equals a production of 2 million vehicles which he just said in the clip that he wants it to be more than the combined output of the Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y. So that, to me, just adds up perfectly. This year, they sold about 1.3 million cars. And in Q4, um, that was just released a, a week ago, they had a production rate of about 440,000. So that's 1.75 million cars per year at production rate right now and this is before the Nevada expansion. So they only need to grow at about 15% to reach 2 million vehicles. So I think it can, you know, it correlates perfectly. You have 2 million vehicles for the Model S, Model X, Model Y, Model 3, and then you have 2 million vehicles for this potential $25,000 car or a robo taxi. It's kind of hard to tell. If you look at their chart right here on the sheet, they talk about to be determined is the Roadster and RoboTaxi and others. So my guess is it's going to be a, it's going to be the RoboTaxi. I don't think there is really a need to sell it if autonomy is perfect. Why not just have your own fleet of autonomous taxis? It can be rolled out in China. It can be rolled out in the U.S. Um, who knows where they're going to do it? Ultimately, it'll be everywhere. And I think this is really what pushes Tesla over the edge is their autonomy. We're also working on a new vehicle that I alluded to at the Giga Texas opening, uh, which is a, a dedicated robo taxi that's uh, highly optimized for uh, autonomy, uh, meaning it would not have steering wheel or pedals. Um, and there are a number of other innovations around it that I think are quite exciting. I'm curious if you have a favorite design, favorite feature, something that you're most proud of. Favorite one is the one that's coming. Um, <laughs> I think. Yeah, so I think on March 1st, they are gonna reveal the design of this potential robo taxi or $25,000 car. And hearing uh, Franz say that it's the most exciting is the car that they haven't even talked about. Just, you know, what, are the, what do you think they're gonna do? They've already talked about not having a steering wheel, not having pedals. Are the passengers gonna face each other? Is there gonna be a massive screen in the front? What do you guys think that the next generation vehicle will look like? If it's the one he's most excited for and he's not talking about the Cybertruck or Roadster, you know, what is this thing gonna look like? There's gonna be a dedicated robo taxi. That's gonna look pretty, it's gonna look, it's gonna look uh, uh, quite futuristic. So probably the ATV too. So the ATV is an interesting design challenge because ATVs are pretty dangerous. And so we want to make an ATV that is the least dangerous ATV. So yeah, like you just saw in the clip, I think it's pretty clear that they're going to po put out some design or the release for that they're going to start production for this $25,000 car or the robo taxi. 
But also I think what could be interesting is how he just said that an ATV and they want to make a super safe ATV with the battery pack on the bottom and that's just super exciting. He's like, you know, you need an ATV with your Cybertruck. So when it says RoboTaxi and others, maybe potentially it's just an ATV, who knows? And eventually maybe a motorcycle at some point, you know? What do you guys think? Also, I want to share this clip I saw on Twitter of this guy that created his Tesla, he painted it yellow, got it painted yellow, and then turned it into what looked like a taxi, which I think is just um, a foreshadow for what maybe it potentially could be in the future. Also, um, I have another clip of, I was in Amsterdam recently, and a lot of the taxis at the airport were Model X's and Model X's, which I think would be very cool, especially on the luxury end. I really think at some point they should stop selling vehicles and just put them out there once fully autonomous. There's no need to own a car. You Most people don't drive more than a couple hours a day, which means they're parked for 22 hours a day. So it's just much more efficient to have robo taxis working at all times and it'll be cheaper for everyone. Anywhere you just can pull up a car, what type of car would you want? You need a bigger car, you can get the Model X, whatever, if you ride sharing, maybe potentially they'll have a, a Tesla van or Tesla bus. They've talked about making all vehicles in all categories. So it really is just an exciting future for Tesla. I'm excited to see what they announce on Investor Day on March 1st. I've seen some potential news at a new fact. The president of Mexico has been talking about um, either in Monterey or near the airport in Mexico City. It'd be great to see it expand throughout Mexico. I live in Mexico right now and I surprisingly see Teslas every single day, which is super cool. And just to see their expansion worldwide. That's all I have for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Sean. I'm the Tesla Hyperbowl and I'll see you guys next time.